Welcome to the Comparison Review. I'm Zach, and today I'm going to be comparing the DJI Mic to the Hollyland Lark Max. And at the end of this review, one of these two mics is going back in the box. I bought both of these mics, so hopefully you don't have to. This review will be about my experience hands-on with both of these systems. The point of these mic systems for me is ease of use. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to worry about it. As mainly a solo shooter, I need to be able to grab and go. Let's see what we get inside the DJI box. Holstering bag, audio cable, windscreens, charging cable, charging case, mics, receiver, USB-C phone adapter, and lightning adapter. Opening up the Hollyland Lark Max box, you get a storage case, audio cable, charging cable, USB-C adapter, lightning adapter, windscreens, charging case, the mic transmitter, the mic receiver. A lot of the specs between these two systems are very similar, as you can see on this screen. Just look at all those specs! So the cost of the DJI system is $329 while the Hollyland Lark Max system is gonna run you $299. The DJI charging case is smaller than the Hollyland case and has a USB-C port on the back for charging. The case holds two mic transmitters, one receiver, and multiple adapters. The transmitters and receiver are charged by the case when stored. Taking a look at our DJI transmitter mics, there's a mic at the top next to a 3.5 millimeter input jack. This is where your lav or other mic sources will connect. At the top corners are LED lights for feedback, green for on and standby, and red for record. There are three settings for the LEDs, high, low, and off. Also, the mic has vibration feedback for button input. The left side of the mic has a USB-C port for charging and transferring files. When connected to a computer, the mic mounts as a drive for easy drag and drop file transfers. On the right side, there's a button to pair the mic to the receiver. Pairing is also done automatically when placed in the charging case with the receiver. Below the pair button is a record button. You can lock this button off on the receiver to prevent accidental presses. On the back, there's a metal clip with a strong magnet. This allows you to mount the mic on any metal object or to connect it through shirts without having to use the clip. The windscreen attaches to the mic with a rotating lock. Now looking at the receiver, we see on the left side that it has a 3.5mm jack for line out and a 3.5mm jack for headphones. On the right side, there's a power button and a USB-C port for charging. On the bottom, there's a plastic clip that is removable and can be swapped out with a lightning port adapter or a USB-C adapter. Even though I like the receiver, the DJI being able to connect directly to my iPhone, there are two things that disappoint me with that. One, the quality and the size of the adapter. They are small and light, but in the rush of shooting, especially when doing a lot yourself, I feel that by at least the second shoot, I'll already be missing adapters. The other disappointment is that the lightning adapter only allows for mono recording on the iPhone. I thought this might be an issue with the iOS itself, but the Hollyland adapter does send a stereo signal to the iPhone. The cold shoot adapter has a very cheap feel to it. The amount of pressure needed to dislodge it feels like it's too much strength for the type of plastic that they're using. One nice thing is that you can leave the clip on the receiver and still have it sit properly in the charging case. The Hollyland charging case is not only slightly larger, but more squared off compared to the DJI case, and has a USB-C port on the back corner for charging. Taking a look at the Hollyland Lark Max transmitter mics, there is a mic at the top, which is below a screen that stretches across the top. On the front face, there's an LED for feedback, solid blue for when connected to the receiver, and blinking blue for standalone. The blue light will turn green when activating the noise cancellation. There are only two settings for the LED brightness, high and low. There is no vibration feedback on the Hollyland. The bottom of the mic has a USB-C port for charging and transferring files. It also connects to the computer as a drive for easy drag and drop file transfers. The left side has a record button with a tiny red LED to indicate recording. On the right side, there's a 3.5 millimeter input jack, a power button, and a button for noise cancellation and pairing the mic to the receiver. On the back, there's a metal clip with a strong magnet, similar to the DJI. The windshield attaches to the mic with a less trustworthy notch cover. It's snug and fits, but I prefer the locking mechanism on the DJI. Both systems, transmitters, and receivers work the same for the most part. Some of the key differences are the DJI is slightly smaller overall, and the receiver is quite a bit smaller and lighter than the Hollyland Lark Max. 
The DJI receiver only has a touch screen, while the Hollyland has a touch screen and a physical dial. When you open up the DJI case, the display is going to show you the charge status and the record time left of each transmitter. The Hollyland case, when open, will show you the charge of the transmitters with a percentage, but no indication of record time of those transmitters. Both mics will record over your previous audio when that record limit is reached. Both of these mics are similar in terms of their use and their sound. Here's a test of the DJI system, and here is the Hollyland Lark Max. The Hollyland Lark Max has a noise cancellation mode on the transmitter. It's good for room noise and some background white noise. Larger background noises are lowered, but not canceled. Alrighty, this is a uh, test of the noise canceling on the Hollyland Lark Max. So let's go ahead and turn on that noise canceling. And I'm standing right below the fan with a really good downward wind coming at me. After reviewing both of these systems, the mic that I'm going to be returning is the DJI system. The DJI system has an issue with interference coming through. I could not reliably get clean audio from this system. It came from two points. The receiver on the actual camera itself produced interference. Covering the receiver or the, the port in which the cable is connected to helped eliminate some, but it was still there. Also, depending on which law you use, uh, it could give you interference on the DJI system. So here's a clean mic that works with the DJI system. And now we're switching over to other lav. And right there you can hear, this one's gonna produce a lot of interference and noise. I know there are other videos out there that talk about which cable is best, which lav would work best, what settings even to set your camera to, to make this system work. All of that is a hassle that I don't have time for and I don't quite trust. With the Hollyland Lark, I didn't have that issue. They plugged in, I got clean audio without any fuss and worrying about the components and other things I'd have to research to make it work. And so for that sin of unclean audio, the DJI system is going back in the box. I hope this review saves you some time and money and thanks for watching.